Get him, Paulton. Uh, uh, Mr. Mapleton, I, uh, I was coming to your office, sir, uh, to thank we'll you. We'll discuss that later, Haskins. Bixby. Haskins, uh, you computed the new supplementary rate tables, didn't you? Uh, why, yes, sir. And are your figures available? Uh, they're right here. Would you mind glancing through them again, Mr. Haskins? Why, why no, not at all. It's an error. Is there, Mr. Haskins? I, I believe I've misplaced a decimal point. You believe you misplaced it? I have misplaced it, sir. I'm disappointed in you, Haskins. Do you realize nutmeg salesmen all over the world are selling policies at a loss to the company because of your inaccurate figures? This is a black mark against our department. On our actuarial exactitude rests the very foundations of nutmeg. I, I can't understand how I could have made a mistake. In our profession, Haskins, there is no room for mistakes. The primary rule is complete and undeviating accuracy. You failed us. Now then, what's your racket? Did it, my what? Your racket, your grind, your bacon exchange. What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, I'm an actuary. Once again? Well, until this morning, I was employed at the Nutmeg Insurance Company. I help compile the figures which determine the current rates for the various categories of insurance protection. Ah. Uh, well, let me put it this way, Mr. McGoldrick. By actuarial science, we determine, for example, the life expectancy of the average man. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you insurance guys can tell me how long I'm going to live? Well, not exactly, but we can tell you just how long you may expect to live. You know, friend, you're wasting your time. You'd be a killer in a concession calling people's numbers. Why, it beats that fortune-telling pitch all ragged.